Lawa Fiona, may I have the permission to start the presentation of credentials? You may proceed. Thank you. Lawa Fiona, le am malul malo to totas yo Samoa. Lawa Fiona to Emily Fano, vale to asoala vile lua. I have the honor to introduce to you His Excellency, Mr. Thomas Stewart Udall, Ambassador Designate of the United States of America to the Independent State of Samoa. Afionga Ile Ao Ole Malo. I have the honor to present to you virtually the letter of credence, which the President of the United States, Joseph R. Biden, has addressed to your highness, accrediting me as ambassador extraordinaire and polypentary of the United States of America to the independent state of Samoa. I also virtually present the letter of recall of my predecessor. I am honored to assume duties alongside my wife, Jill, my partner and chief advisor. I'm also lucky to have the support of our incredible daughter, Amanda, and son-in-law, Jim Knoll. Together, Jill and I are proud to bring with us the culture and traditions of our home, New Mexico, a state with a diverse and vibrant people, much like Samoa. I want to acknowledge that the COVID-19 pandemic has changed the way we live and work and brought immense challenges to countries and people around the world. I am grateful for the opportunity to present my credentials virtually so that I may commence my work as ambassador of the United States to Samoa. Please know that Jill and I are eager to visit and explore Samoa as soon as circumstances allow. It is a privilege to serve the United States as our representative to Samoa. I am honored to serve at this time when ties between our two countries are extremely strong, connected by a common history and linked by the Pacific Ocean. Our countries share core values and a commitment to democracy, religious freedom, fair economic opportunity, and a free and open global community. We actively partner to advance these shared values. Official diplomatic relations between our two nations date back to 1971. However, our legacy of friendship and partnership date back to the mid 1800s. This is a friendship based on trust and mutual interests strengthened by people to people ties between our two countries. The United States is both Samoa's closest geographic neighbor and home to one of the largest Samoan diaspora populations in the world. And Americans remain major private philanthropic contributors to Samoa. At regional and international levels, our two countries work together to protect the environment, fisheries, promote sustainable economic development in a free and open Indo-Pacific region and strengthen the tenets of democracy and human rights. Locally, health, education, and cultural preservation are areas of long-standing cooperation. And I look forward to continuing these efforts. This is perhaps best evidenced by our Peace Corps program, which has a long history in Samoa. In addition to their primary role as educators, the cross-cultural ties from the Peace Corps are long-standing and far-reaching. My life and my family have been enriched by the diversity of American society and culture. And Jill and I look forward to continuing to build these cross-cultural ties and learning from the equally rich culture of Samoa. As President Biden has said, climate change represents an existential threat to human existence as we know it. As a US Senator, I championed environmental protection and advocated for urgent action to combat the climate crisis. President Biden and I both believe climate-friendly policies and investments 
are necessary not only to protect our environment, but also to create well-paying jobs, spur long-term economic growth, and improve the quality of life for our peoples. I know that Samoa and other Pacific Island nations are particularly vulnerable to the effects of climate change, and I believe that climate cooperation can serve as a cornerstone of our bilateral relationship. I was taught at a young age that there are fewer greater honors than being able to give back to your community, your people, your country. I have been fortunate to have a life of public service, including service in state and national office. And I'm humbled to continue this journey by representing the United States of America in Samoa. As ambassador, I look forward to strengthening our excellent relationship. Jill and I thank you for this tremendous honor and opportunity to get to know your people and the people, to get to know your country and the people of Samoa. Fa Fafetai, thank you, your highness. Your excellency, it is my pleasure to receive your original letters of credence accrediting you as the ambassador extraordinary and plenty potentiary of the United States of America to Samoa. I also acknowledge the receipt of the letter of recall of your predecessor and request that you convey my best wishes to His Excellency President Joseph Biden. Excellency, it will have been a pleasure to welcome you and your wife Jill in person to Samoa Nonetheless, I am grateful for the technology that has allowed this opportunity for virtual credentialing during these challenging times of travel due to the COVID-19 pandemic. Samoa and the United States of America established diplomatic relations in 1971. Since then, our relationship has progressed from strength to strength through historical and cultural connections, the strong people to people ties and our shared beliefs and values for national sovereignty, peace and security and equal opportunities which strengthen our relations. United States and Samoa have meaningful cooperation in the areas of health, education, environment, EEZ security and fisheries, and importantly, the Peace Corps program. Peace Corps program for Samoa has been an important service for the benefit of our school's population through significant improvements in literacy and numeracy. Samoa recognizes the United States role in combating the issues of climate change in both the international and regional settings. This holds significance for Samoa and our Pacific Island neighbors as the devastating effects of climate change continue to threaten our very existence and way of life. Samoa echoes the importance of protecting the environment and the need for eco-friendly reforms in improving the quality of life for all people. This is our duty and responsibility as stewards of our environment, particularly the environment and health of our oceans. Excellency, Samoa recognizes the crucial role of collective cooperation within the international community. As members of the United Nations, we find common ground in the safeguarding of our rights, protecting the environment, combating climate change, international peace and security, and strengthening of friendly relations with the international community. May we continue to work alongside each other in the pursuit of a promising and sustainable future. Your Excellency, I am confident that the excellent relations between our two countries will continue to prosper during your term as ambassador of the United States to Samoa. I wish you and your family a successful tenure and hope that you will be able to visit Samoa 
in the near, near future. So, if you are, and God bless.